does me well if I know God by his word because knowing God's word is knowing God's will for my life because many a times we have put our prayers in the wrong baskets we have put our prayers in the wrong caravans and that's why as much as we keep working hard at the place of the prayer we end up with no answers because wrong formula wrong answers wrong method wrong answers the desire should have been that i may know you god that i may know of your word this now brings me to this next thing i'm about to say don't be a christian who reads the bible because you have an assignment to preach somewhere. You are looking for a scripture that wants to attack a brother or a sister. You need to read the word of God because you want to grow yourself. There is too much in the word of God when you read it for the right reasons than when you are just reading it for self-righteousness. When you read it to build your spirit, you read it because you want to know him. You are not reading it because you are looking for a word that is coming to heal you. You are looking for a word that is coming to deal with the demons. It's always beautiful if you will read the word of God because you have a desire to know him. So the desire should be, can I know him? If I may know God, who is God? I'm not just here over what he can do. I'm not just here because he's a healer, but I'm here. I want to know him because knowing God is knowing his will. The reason as to why we put our prayers, our hopes, our everything in the wrong baskets is because we only follow him for what he can do to us. And that's why we miss on some important principles when it comes to doing his will in his kingdom. Especially when God brings you and plants in the surroundings of people who carries the keys, who carries something you needed for you to fix the assignment of God in your life. You keep on missing on these important keys, important principles because you always look for him for the wrong reasons. And this one now shifts you from doing the most important things to doing the wrong things. Should God ever plant you in the lives of people who carry something you have, you need to learn gratitude. Why do we always talk about the goodness of people when they are no longer there with us? You will always talk of the goodness of the big mama, the goodness of how that man was, how that pastor was, how that apostle was, how that bishop was, uh, when they are no longer. But when they are alive, our pride and our self-righteousness uh, will not allow us. So, look at this. Israel is so blessed. <laughs> they had God the Father, they had the temple, they had the prophets, but still they are not contented because uh, contentment with godliness uh, is a super gain. <laughs> there are people, even after you give them everything they want, you lie down on the floor for them to walk on you, they are still not grateful. So this is the lifestyle of the Israelites because they had God every day watching over their lives. They had the temple. They had the prophets. And now my question is, why are they always in the same trouble each and every time? They are in the same situation. They are in the same mess each and every time. I'm about to say something powerful. 
careful. I want you to pay attention. Should we always be waiting for the problem so that we are connected and interested to know the right will of God for 